Welcome on back to East Texas Live on KDK. And joining us now is Christina Davis with Sinclair Law Office. Good morning, Christina. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course, and you brought a little friend with you. I did. This is Rue. She's Hello. my rescue dog. Hi, Rue. Well, she is so precious, but I want to talk to you guys about your passion for animal adoption. You guys are the sponsors of the cutest pet photo sweepstakes, so clearly this is something that is very passionate to you guys. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yes, everyone at Sinclair Law Office has a heart for animals. <laughs> um, we all have pets. Most of them were adopted from shelters. It's just something that we care very much about. Now for someone looking to adopt a dog like Rue or something along those lines and we're doing Clear the Shelters coming up very soon, what should they think about before adopting a pet? So adopting a pet is a lifelong um, commitment, mm -hmm. their life. Uh, you have to provide their care, their medical attention. You have to, of course, love them. That's the easy yes. part. <laughs> um, but make sure all of their needs are met for their entire life, whatever that may bring. Now, for some people on the fence, they're unsure if they want to make this decision because it is so serious. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them? What are the benefits of adopting a pet? Uh, the benefits are just immeasurable. Uh, the, the love and companionship that you get from adopting a pet is just completely unmatched. Um, of course, us at our office, we love having them because mm -hmm. um, Rue and her brother George come to work <laughs> with us every day and they provide uh, comfort and companionship to the people who visit our office on a daily basis. Now I can see just through my conversation with you and just what you've shared about the people in your office, you guys have such a beautiful passion for pets, but I'm sure this transfers over to your care for people and working with them along those lines too. Can you explain to me and talk to me a little bit about that? So uh, there are a lot of similar characteristics. Mm -hmm. People come to our office when they are having a crisis, when they are going through sometimes one of the worst things in their lives. And it's important to us that we provide them compassion and care um, with also providing them top your legal services and the knowledge that they need to get through whatever it is they're going through. Now talk to me a little bit about what practicing law and just helping families in general, what does that mean to you? Being able to help them. Mm -hmm. When people come to you with a problem, like I said, this, this horrible time in their lives, and you're able to give them answers. Here's what the law says. Here's what a court is likely to do uh, and help guide them through this really tough time. That's important to me. Certainly, and is there anything that you guys are doing to kind of, you know, just shift the attention to animals back to there now to just get people to adopt and be involved in our East mm -hmm. Texas community here and helping our little furry friends find some homes? Well, I have been uh, a foster with the SPCA in the past. Wow. That's how I got Rue. I had to stop <laughs> because I kept keeping the animals. Um, we frequently <laughs> share on social media uh, lots of things about um, animals and shelters and adopting animals and pets that are available. Um, um, and we encourage people to, to participate in those things. So this is very close to home for you. This yes. is something that you've done yourself. What would you tell people that are on the fence right now? Because you've actually experienced this firsthand. I'm sure it's impacted you in such a positive way. It has. Do it. Do it. You will not regret it. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, you get a, a beautiful dog like <laughs> Rue right here and you could add that to your family. Yes. Yes, because we, we, you know, we are partnering with Clear the Shelters. We're doing a lot um, in coming in August to just get, a, you know, furry friends like Rue adopted to find these forever homes, find these families where, where it's cats and dogs. Like we have so many different options for people to get involved with the SBCA of East Texas, anything along those lines. So it's so great to see your guys' passion and what you're doing to kind of spread awareness to this issue that we're having. Thank you, and we are glad that you guys are highlighting it. Mm -hmm. This is the best way to get the information out there. Well, thank you so much, Christina. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you for All having right, me.